string of short, snappy episodes of Digital Futures, I'm on the road, literally, hunting down some fascinating startups and their eclectic founders. Now, they're either what I call lifestyle tech, that is to do with our everyday lives, food, fashion, finance, families, or using what feels to many like high-tech digital tech, artificial intelligence, VR, big data, but really stuff that is quite simple and applying them to mainstream areas and making them feel palatable. Today, I'm talking to Martin, the co-founder of Codec, run by a crack team of marketers, technologists, and data scientists who've all set out to empower both creatives and brands to churn out some fantastic content, but all backed by AI and empirical evidence versus just random guesswork. Now, they call themselves a creative intelligence platform and want to apply clever, meaningful data to content marketing. Let's talk to their co-founder and CEO, Martin. Thank you for doing this. No worries. Super. So Martin, just give us your elevator pitch in about three lines. What is this platform and why should we care? So uh, for the vast number of companies that need to think and act like publishers now, we help them understand exactly what content their audiences want them to make before they have to go out and make it. So it drives higher ROI, but more importantly, it means they're actually making content their audiences care about. And what were some of the really big obstacles and challenges you came up against? When sort of very early stages, taking this from conception to execution? So, I mean, it's a, it's a technology company. Um, we are dealing with advanced machine learning and AI. So bringing in the people that can help you build on top of our core technology, yeah. it's always a challenge. Yeah. Um, we've, we've managed to do that. We have some really smart people from across Europe and beyond. Yeah. Um, so that's great. Um, and I think with any company, just uh, understanding how to continue to offer value to those customers, mm. if they're big or small, mm. while you're servicing more and more and more, is, uh, is a hell of a challenge, but it's, it's what we do. Yeah, so you live for. <laughs> yes, amen. So Martin, talk to me about your background and what makes you tick personally. So, I mean, I've had a, a mixed background in the sense I've been involved in the marketing space, in yeah. the social space. Yeah. I was an intellectual property lawyer for a time. What haven't you done? And what haven't <laughs> I done? Da interpretive dance is still, dance. still to come, okay. still to come. Um, yeah. So um, I'm just, I, I'm a curious guy about how technology and specifically data can be used to de-risk decisions. So whether it's Netflix de-risking it for uh, long form content, Codec doing that for day-to-day -day content marketing, and um, wherever you can use data to help decisions be made better, that for me is really exciting. And how are you going to, for example, demystify some of this for everyday folks who aren't necessarily into very technical terms? So yeah. when I talk to people about AI, they're like, um, sure. sorry, come again. Um, but obviously you guys use some of this really hard intelligent data. Yep. So how, how would you demystify it for someone who isn't quite completely in the technical world? So, I mean, I think that the way to think of it is um, there's lots of forms of, of, of machine learning and AI. Um, what we're doing is to particularly read lots of different types of content, so image content, video content, right. text content, right. profiling that content <coughs> using lots of deep learning. It's the same deep learning that will drive a driverless car, mm. but we're using it to read millions of images mm. to say what's in those images mm. so that we can gain intelligence to say, people of this type love that type of image or genre of image. So at its simplest form, it's essentially telling people what could work with their audiences. Absolutely, what resonates with that audience, what yeah. will have high impact with that audience, yeah. all before you've had to guess or, mm. or put lots of content out there and hope mm. that you might be right. Okay, so critically, as an entrepreneur, what keeps you up at night? Uh, how long have you got? <laughs> uh, lots and lots of things. So. Um, I think we are always fixated on ensuring that we are continuing to build innovative technology yeah. that is ahead of any sort of competition. Yeah. Um, we, but we, you know, you, you hire the right team to de-risk that. So that's on your mind a lot. Always. People, I mean, that's, people, people. You've got to be yeah. aggressive and you've got to be um, innovative when you're approaching that. That's, that is our bread and butter of our job. Um, and I think also linked to that is ensuring that you're building the technology that will actually deliver value to mm. your customers. Mm -hmm. Not just building it because you can or because no one has done it in the past, but because it will make a difference to yeah. their bottom line or their decision yeah. making. Yeah. So teeing, you know, making sure that there's a thread between those two things is super, super crucial. So I, I think a lot of companies get it going wrong. Like that at night. Yeah. Dancing, Do you dream it's, in spreadsheets? It's a, it's a game of tennis between those two demands. Um, so yeah. like, actually, now it's 1 a.m. and I'm really yeah, hungry. I might yeah, stop this brainstorming exactly, and get exactly. myself a snack from the fridge. And Martin, where do you want to take this, let's say, two, three years from now? 
So two, three years, I mean, we, we see ourselves being the global uh, leading company in our category of driving you know, evidence-based decisions for any company that's making a creative decision. We've yeah. seen that that's publishers, we've seen that it's brands, we've seen that it's big uh, global music labels, all types mm. of companies. So we mm. want to be the basically the sales force of creative decision making. Yeah. Okay, and I think one for also logical creatives and marketers yes. who want to base their their decisions on empirical evidence, That's not right. just random. Oh, yes. finger in the yeah. uh, sort of wind, trying to guess what's um, coming next. Exactly. Yeah, we've seen that. You know, really, really creative people want to layer their creativity, human creativity, yeah. on top of a level of confidence yeah. that they're looking in the right directions, yeah. the right areas, yeah. that the audience thinks are important. Yeah. And that's really what I think we're trying to empower. Super. Well, kudos on that. Thank Best you. of luck. I'm going to keep my eyes on you guys. Thank you. But Thank if you're you. a creative or a marketer and you want to base your decisions on meaningful data and not just random guesswork, check out Kodak.